before I get started, I do know what I look like, okay? I look like a high school gym teacher who's trying to get fired. <laughs> I look like uh, Jesse Pinkman if he was making edibles instead of meth. <laughs> yeah, brownies, bitch! That's me. I look like I know all the words to every Limp Biscuit song. But the joke's on you, I grew up Christian, so I know all the words to every P.O.D. song. That's right. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been married just over a decade now. Um, thank you. Which means that my wife has been tired of my shit for just under a decade. That's how that math works out. Um, I'm actually terrible at math. I've always been bad at it. Uh, I was decent at science, but again, I grew up Christian, so I got even better at denying it, you know? <laughs> Growing up Christian and being homeschooled, like, uh, there's not a lot of sex ed in there. I don't know if that's a surprise to any of you guys, but there's not a lot of sex ed. So, until I was 15 years old, I thought that gonorrhea and diarrhea were the same thing. <laughs> you can imagine my parents' surprise when I, my youth pastor took me to El Famous Burrito and I came home with the clap. <laughs> They were not happy, so he's in jail. <laughs> I used to listen to a lot of angry music growing up, and uh, my dad would always get mad because I was listening to angry music. He'd be like, you shouldn't listen to that. But again, it was Christian music. I wasn't listening to Limp Bizkit or Marilyn Manson. The only thing these people were mad at was demons, you know? <laughs> Plus, given the young white male's propensity for school shootings, and the fact that I was homeschooled, Dad probably dodged a bullet, you know? <laughs> Shouldn't have been so mad. And yeah, my dad would hate that joke. Um, but he had a stroke last month, so I don't think he would get that joke. Oh, yeah, buckle up. <laughs> He's got the scrambled egg brains, you know? It's terrible, I know. There's lots of alls, whatever. I, uh, I, you didn't have to talk to him today. I called him today and I asked him what he had for lunch. And he said, I had leaves. So that's where he's at. Yeah, they, uh, they actually gave me power of attorney so that I could handle some of my dad's affairs because he can't right now. And you know, everyone talks about power of attorney. They talk about it on legal dramas and shit. But you know what they don't talk about? The power of power of attorney. Like my dad's about to get involved in so many shady land deals. <laughs> he might dabble in a little bit of insider trading. If I can figure out how to get inside, of course. That's a key, I think. They uh, specifically did not give me power to pull the plug, though. Because they know I would pull that fucking plug. <laughs> they know they, they do. It's terrible. I love my dad. Uh, <laughs> I moved here recently from Georgia. Uh, I lived outside of Atlanta, about an hour outside. It was pretty rural. And I moved up here to get away from all the Trump people. <laughs> Didn't work. I moved to a town that way. It's apparently called Lester. You guys know about this place? Yeah, it's mostly gunshots and meth mouth out there. A lot of rednecks. So you, you still call them rednecks or do they prefer American Americans? <laughs> Stupid either way. Yeah, a lot of Trump people. Um, what's cool though, a lot of cities have like a Chinatown or a Koreatown. Asheville has an Alabama town about nine miles from <laughs> Trump people are weird to me, too, because it's like, it's a whole lot of, I stand with Israel for people who can't stand the Jews, you know? What's up with that? I actually just turned 37, uh, which is a weird age, because I'm not old enough to know the difference between a corn and a bunion. But apparently I'm old enough to have one. Uh, it's also the age where I'm not sure that the roof of my mouth has another bowl of Cap'n Crunch left in it, you know? <laughs> if I go for it, it's just going to be, oops, all blood, you know? It's 
terrible. I get a kettle chip folded too many times. Now for a week. <laughs> I had a friend come up to me the other day, he said he was looking for a new hobby. I said, okay, have you thought about beekeeping? He said, no, I want something with a little thrill. I said, okay, have you thought about wasp keeping? <laughs> Bitch bought a kayak instead. <laughs> Smoked a lot of weed. None of you guys are surprised <laughs> by that last barrage of jokes. Um, but like I said, I used to live in rural Georgia, and I had a lot of judgy friends out there, you know? They'd come at me all harsh like, they'd be like, can't believe you smoke weed around your kids. <laughs> okay, first of all, narc. <laughs> I don't smoke weed around my kids. I smoke weed so that I can be around my kids. <laughs> There's a difference. You guys have been great. I've been Clay Jones. <laughs>